Good day, it's Dan here. Let's continue working on our damage rolls as we add support for more variables that might be happening within your game. So here we have our character Kanto, and she has a target of Sonya. So when I roll damage, uh, it's going to check uh, whether it's a headshot or a body shot, and then it's going to check the armor stopping power, and then it's going to apply damage and then it's going to report uh, everything uh, that's just gone on. Now, what happens if we don't have a target set? So if we don't have a target set, we don't want it to fail. Uh, and a lot of the script currently um, depends on there being an R target value. So we've cleared the targets for Kanto. And if I roll damage, we'll see that the roll still executes but the message is quite different. So the first one we had pistol damage roll 2d6, we still have that, pistol damage roll 2d6, but in the first roll then we then had attack versus Sonya, we had raw damage 7, um, so we've just got here raw damage of 3, and then on the original targeted roll we had the actual damage being 1 based on uh, 6 stopping power armor, and then the total wounds now being seven for that target. So we can't know who we're targeting, we can't know what their stopping power is, and we can't know what their wounds are. So if you're rolling untargeted, uh, it's then up to the GM and the players to resolve that. So let's look at the code that we use to do that. So we're still in our manager damage script, and we're still in the notify R damage function. So what we've done is right at the top of that function, we've started with if not our target. So this will check if our target is valid and if there's no valid targeting information, uh, it then runs the code down to this end statement. So the next step is to declare a local variable end total with a value of zero. We then iterate through the dice results. We then sum all the dice results. So um, in the case of uh, three dice, we'd be in total plus the first dice, in total plus the second dice, in total plus the third dice. Um, then we're going to create a message which includes the attacker's information, the attack information, and the dice result information, but it can't include any information about the target. We then um, append our total uh, that was created when we um, iterated through the pairs of dice. Um, that gives us um, our total raw damage and then we deliver that message. And then the return statement, basically if, we, if the application reads down to here, it will exit out of the whole function and not process any more of the function. So after this end statement, um, we would have the code that would run when there is a target selected. This code here will only run if there's no target selected, and when it gets to the return line, it will exit out of this function completely, won't run the rest of the script, and it also won't run the out-of-band messaging.